Hi everyone, uh, so I'm Alistair from Big Bear Bikes and today we're in Dolby Forest which is our local trail centre and we're going to do uh, an e-bike showdown, uh, a test with the two latest Trek e-bikes. Uh, we're going to do three tests with me and Robbie, we're going to do a hill climb test, a downhill segment and then uh, yeah, we're going to give our feedback, what we thought riding both bikes, how they performed, the time differences. So if you're in the market for you know, maybe looking at a new e-bike or jump into electric and you're undecided what style of bike you might be looking at, uh, we're going to run you through what Trek has to offer. Um, so obviously Robbie on the rail is a full powered e-bike, lightweight here. And yeah, we'll give you some reviews, some timed footage, we've got the GoPros on. And uh, so the first section here, we're going to do the climb out of Dolby, the first section, it's probably about half a mile, a couple of hundred feet of climbing. And yeah, it should be a good test um, to see what the bikes can do. They'll both be in their highest settings, so turbo, and we're not going to go shy. We're going to try and give it our all to do, a, to do a fair test. So we'll jump us straight into it. Robbie, yeah. you're going to head off? Let's go for it. Sweet, cool. So we're actually at the uh, top of the downhill section now, which is section two on the red route. Um, this is the drop in here over those couple of rock rollers. And then it's a nice fast flowy section with some nice berms at the bottom. So me and Robbie are actually gonna do two runs on each bike, which is gonna be a fair test. And we'll uh, see the time differences and also see how each bike feels to ride. Um, so let's get at it and uh, see, see what times we can do. Yeah, let's do it, yeah, let's, let's get to the go. top. Cool. Okay, cool, so uh, that's a wrap to, for today uh, on our testing. Uh, we've just finished doing the downhill section um, of our timed runs. Unfortunately, I had to pull out a little bit early uh, as I popped my front tire. So we haven't, had to, haven't managed to do a full comparison of us both riding both bikes but we both managed to get a good two or three runs each on this downhill section and you know kind of get our thoughts on how both bikes ride how did you find yours was was down that i mean obviously that's quite a fast flowy um yeah. ermy section obviously that descends well we know that mm. but obviously from you riding non-e bikes how have you felt that rides on it on maybe a fast technical section yeah i mean it was fast and flowy but there was also some like some pretty big some pretty big drops pretty yeah, hard hits there was yeah um you know with me being going to be racing this bike it, i want to see feel the bike want to be able to attack into things yeah and that's really what i felt like it did giving you the confidence you can really it. have the confidence to yeah. do different lines chuck it up into a high line yeah, into a corner yeah. um and really attack some routes which yeah. is I feel like it's really, really good for that. But then it also, on the nice flowy, flowy parts, it feels nice. It doesn't feel like a big, heavy bike. No. Um, which I think it'll be kind of broadens the, the target exactly. market for it. Yeah, and um, obviously they climb great. We know that. Um, that's the only reason myself, obviously I, I own this bike and I how I find it descends is just the, how grippy it is. Yeah, the, the confidence, it's a confidence inspiring ride on both of them. Mm. You feel like you've got loads of traction, loads of confidence, you know, great suspension. And, you know, as we're doing here, you know, you could be just doing a nice ride on the red route and both of these bikes are gonna be great. Definitely. Or you can be racing them like you're gonna That's be right. doing. I mean, me personally, um, I've gone for the lightweight one because I don't necessarily do the miles. I yeah. maybe do 20 miles on, on a maximum sort of ride. This thing will probably do 30 maxed out, yeah. but you've chosen the full fat for racing. Yeah, is that because right. you need the power or is it because you need a long day of charge? Well, some of these races you can be doing 20, 
to 30 miles yeah and then you've obviously got your five or six yeah. time stages where you're going to be on full turbo mode that's so you're going to be giving it all it's battery. got so you're going to be yeah. draining it some of the like we said before some of the the stages now on the e-bike um enduros have actually got uphill stages as oh, well okay yeah. so you're really going to sap your battery in them yeah so in the, this you might have it you, you we might be running out of battery and yeah. you don't want to be worried Definitely. about that yeah so i think if you're doing the big long days racing it's going to be a yeah or necessarily if you're just out on the trails and you like to go off and do 30 40 miles uh with the confidence of not running out of definitely. Uh, battery charge the rail would be a good one to go yeah, for definitely this definitely does have a bit more um nimble feel to ride uh definitely feels more like an acoustic bike a little bit you know quieter from the motor more of a natural feel um, but like i say if you are if you are wanting to do longer days on the bike i would maybe look at the rail yeah yeah but, but no, it's been a great test yeah both um, of them though you can come down a trail yeah have a good time and then fly back up to the top and you you back more, at the top in you two minutes aren't you that's it and not really much battery. Out exactly yeah. how much battery did you use on that half about 55 55 percent left so right. 45 percent so you use about half a battery for um, today and we've done quite we've a, done lot. a lot of riding and you've been out. in turbo all the time pretty yeah. much yeah i mean same here i mean obviously i finished a little bit early with the puncture i've used half battery as well but i reckon if i had done a bit more like robbie had i'd have probably used another 10 20 percent so there's probably yeah like i say that's that's got it's got more range yeah that's it yeah but, but if you're interested in uh buying an e-bike or you're wanting to upgrade um, we have all these bikes in store we have a higher fleet up at the dolby forest uh, cycle hub shop so if you want to come in and discuss with any uh, options we're here to help and uh, we're looking forward to seeing you racing that next season definitely and we'll hopefully do some more of these videos if there's anything in particular you want us to test just let us know in the comments um, but we'd also really appreciate if you uh, like and subscribe yeah thank you very much Perfect. cheers see you later